All right, you guys asked for it. A video all about the laser cutter. One disclaimer though. This is not a how-to video. If you don't know how to deal with high voltage power supplies and high powered lasers, don't try this at home. It's pretty dangerous. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's get to work. So this is what we're starting with. It's a Chinese laser cutter, and honestly that might as well be its brand name because it does not have a brand name. Uh, you can find them all over the place for eBay. I think they're about as cheap as $400 now. Uh, the housing and the mechanics, you might as well just throw away though, they're pretty bad. But the tube itself and the high voltage power supply are all we need from it, so we'll start with that. Well, I wish I had a cool uh, time lapse video to show you guys, but unfortunately I built this thing before I even started a YouTube channel. So instead, I'll play this cool animation and we'll talk about more details in a minute. <laughs> I hope you guys like that animation. That was hours of work. Uh, anyway, uh, here's the real thing. Uh, let's get into the details. First up is the laser tube. This is a 40 watt tube from China. The first one that showed up was broken, but they sent a new one pretty quickly, free of charge. This tube is water cooled, so I pulled a bunch of spare parts I had left over from the water cooling build on my PC. If I were planning on running this machine for long periods of time, I'd probably switch out the reservoir for something bigger. But for what I do, this works fine. It's always a good idea to have a mechanical flow indicator. If the coolant stops moving, the laser won't survive for long. Next up is the XY table. I had the motors left over from the 3D printer build, and I managed to salvage a few pulleys from the Chinese laser cutter. Most of the rest of the parts were 3D printed. The first surface mirrors I bought from eBay. These are definitely worth the money. This homes itself, just like the 3D printer. The laser cutter actually vaporizes whatever it's cutting, so keeping those vapors out of the house and out of my lungs is pretty important. I designed a downdraft system that works pretty well. I'm using compressed CO2 for fire suppression when cutting things like cardboard and wood. This gets piped from a paintball CO2 tank directly into the nozzle of the cutter. This also helps keep the optics clean. Next are the controls. Power for the blower fan and laser a safety shutoff valve for the laser trigger, and a temperature gauge to keep an eye on the coolant temps, all feed back to an Arduino and ramps board. That's been working pretty well for a while, but I'll probably change the ramps board out for something better soon. All of that, nicely enclosed in quarter inch acrylic, which is opaque to the infrared laser, makes the whole thing a little safer. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this week. Hopefully that was helpful. I know you guys have been asking for that for a while. If you have any more questions, just feel free to throw them in the comments. I'll probably do another video or two on this. Uh, in fact, next week I'm probably going to uh, work on a few little details on this that have been bugging me since I built it. So stay tuned for that. See you on the next one.